Hi, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Yeah, very good, thank you. All right. Um, so, what's your name and where are you from? Sorry. My name is Hide. Mm -hmm. um, I'm from the like, rural area of to uh, Japan, but I moved to Tokyo, so I'm now living in Tokyo. Cool. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, uh, so, my name is Henry, and mm -hmm. I'm from England, but I currently live in Indonesia. Indonesia. Um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> And all right. So, how long have you been learning English? Um, almost two years. Mm -hmm. And um, my like English learning experience outside Japan was only go to Philippines last year. Oh wow! Okay, cool. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I usually used to study uh, learn English as talking with the tutor in mm. the, at the another learning online uh, service mm -hmm. run by Japanese company. So I just ah, started okay. Cambly since this week. Okay, cool. All right. And uh, what's like the main reason that you want to improve your English? Okay. Um, so first of all, I'm a freelance designer and um, oh, cool. I been thinking about uh, working and um, like hopefully belong to the following design company mm -hmm. as a web design or graphic designer. Yeah. Uh, so that's why I started learning English um, after like, like, so, like it's been so long time after the like, graduation uh, from my university. But mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, like that, like COVID, like things happen. Mm -hmm. So oh, like, of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I'm now like motivation of running English just for I don't know, just for fun or like I really don't hate to stop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Doing it. Mm -hmm. Um. Once I like actually I'm. It's been. Maybe two or three months, I, I like stopped and signed out the another, like as I said, very like another learning, um, resin system, uh, mm -hmm. like Cambly. But um, I don't know. I, I don't want to do anything about uh, the like, in about English learning. But mm -hmm. I just do listen to like English podcast or watching the YouTube uh, yeah. without the subtitle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's not the learning. So it's not, it's just pers perceive, uh, like passive learning. Yeah, it's exactly. Yeah. Active, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I have to like thinking about, yeah, I, I got to do again, maybe slightly, but even like, at least have a conversation like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think just okay. living for just learning for fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, good reason. So I think obviously, uh, even if you don't have plans to go anywhere or kind of yeah do anything with the English yet, I mm -hmm. guess in the future it will become useful for you one day, most likely. Mm -hmm. um and obviously yeah I, I i imagine you'll probably go go to other countries at some some stage so uh mm -hmm. it's important i guess not to yeah not to stop to ensure you're kind of consistent i think that's the best way to obviously uh mm -hmm. yeah improve and i think a lot of a lot of people i i talk to they stop for maybe a couple of months and they realize how much they they can forget very easily so yes, uh, yes, yes. yeah cool all right and um <clears throat> so you said you are still studying freelance design or have you already graduated and you now work in that? Um, uh, it's been almost five years I became a freelance designer. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, All right. So yeah. I'm, uh, I'm 30 now. Yeah. Um, I used to belong to a web design company and uh, decided to become a freelancer. Mm -hmm. Um, but like this is the one of the, the main reason uh, I started learn English uh, is that uh, getting sick of 
the being a freelancer, even though it's very, I think being a freelance designer is already one of the the best way to live. Mm-hmm. Very comfortable to do anything. I mm-hmm. can do arrange my own schedule. Exactly. And, yeah. um, for, fortunately, I I haven't like been struggling about like getting the job. I don't mm-hmm. know. I just upload my work on social media. Mm-hmm. Someone found me and yeah. contacted me to make something. Okay. But um, you know, being a freelancer cannot manage a huge like the big project. So mm-hmm. I usually do the small like uh, work with a small client and yeah. start an entrepreneur or uh, personal brand designer. Mm-hmm. So maybe so far so good, but uh, I really like got feared of like what if I entirely I sick of like there's nothing for like nothing for fun or nothing novelty of my creativity. So that's mm-hmm. why I don't know. Maybe yeah, yeah. Like like you like. Just living in the foreign country mm-hmm. make me feel very like good, mm-hmm. but a uh, uh, country it like it is it is it's all impossible. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah. No, I think uh, like you said, I think being a freelancer, obviously, yeah, you can gives you the opportunity to live where you want, kind of when you want to move around. You can you choose your own schedule and things like this so it's a yeah a really good kind of yeah thing it kind of gives you a, a good work-life balance mm. um which i think is important uh so hopefully uh once yeah the corona pandemic is is over finally and kind of mm. things get back to normal i hope you can get to go go do yeah go somewhere where you want to go and kind mm. of uh yeah cool. and so where where would you like to go to the kind of like travel or live um so like i said i only have uh, experience in philippines so Mm -hmm. wherever i go it's okay like like uk Mm -hmm. or united states like new york city like huge city seems really like very awesome but yeah. i think like germany or united States, like like uk england is mm-hmm. the top um my hope because i this i don't know it seems really inspiring mm-hmm. to my like as a designer there are a lot of like authenticity in even on the street mm-hmm. or there are a lot of like abundant design or creative culture yeah oh for sure yeah yeah hmm. cool all right well i hope you get to go to yeah england or germany uh mm. soon uh all right so i've, I've never yeah, actually I, been to I, germany though. i also yeah uh-huh. i like i personally like a lot of like england musicians like do you know biffy cryo or yeah, of course. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Churches. Yep. Yeah. And um, the 1975, like that. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I'm not get very huge fan of the like musically, but um, like these kind of music band make me really like crazy. So I hope like. Someday I want to meet them like uh-huh. in person on the concert. Yeah. That's why th- this is the like secondary reason that I wanted to go to England. Cool. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So I, I hope uh, you get to go. Yeah. Go and see these musicians live. Mm. Um, if you ever do go to England, so I really recommend going to a festival, which I think is a really good. Uh, so it's called Glastonbury Festival. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that, there's the name there but it's held once a year it's the biggest festival in england mm-hmm. um and it's 
thousands and thousands of performers uh, are doing it. And it's not only music, it's kind of like an arts festival as well. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's really, really good. Um, I don't know how to explain it very well, to be honest, but it's, uh, I, I went in 2010 and okay. I'd say it was probably one of the best, best experiences that I've ever had. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, if you get to go, go to England, okay. uh, try, try and get tickets to that. I really recommend it. I <laughs> <laughs> All right. And, uh, cool. All right. So what kind of things do you enjoy doing most when you're not working? The most. <laughs> Um, maybe I usually like to watch NBA basketball game on YouTube. It's just oh, okay. highlight. I'm not a huge fan, so I it's okay to just highlight. Yeah. Or, um, I also like to listening or watching the like K-pop. Mm -hmm. Um, or uh, the daily in terms of daily stuff. Um. Uh, go outside with my wife because mm -hmm. I we we just got married last week. Oh wow! Okay, cool. It's very brand new, so yeah. Whatever we do, it's very like cool, just cool. Yeah, awesome. All right, so yeah. First of all, congratulations. Thanks. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, all right, sounds good. So, um, <clears throat> I don't really know much about k-pop or anything like that mm -hmm. um but uh what, what what hang on so oh and so the nba so this is basketball am i right yeah yes yeah okay so uh i know very very little about basketball as well mm. uh i think sometimes i will watch a clip on youtube or something like that if it, if it comes up uh but uh, yeah i'm not not too aware of it so how long have you liked basketball and, and kind of why is that the sport that you, you love the most? Um, maybe five years or six, five or six years ago, I just mm -hmm. found uh, like highlights or super prize, like maybe first shocking, like play was by Stephen Colley. Uh -huh. And um, I used to, I actually used to, play basketball and the uh, school club team so oh, okay cool cool it the stephen collies play reminds me the fan of the basketball again mm -hmm. so and uh, it's it was very surprising that like my like mem like like my memory of all basketball and the colin was huge different the game style we were speed with transition <laughs> speed and the yeah. shoot range, um, like Damian Lillard or Stephen Curry or uh, like Troy Young can like almost like everywhere from coast to coast like yeah. shoot from everywhere. So I don't know. It's very surprising and like new yeah. to me. Cool, awesome. And uh, so you mentioned obviously you were on the school team. Mm. So. Uh, why why did you stop playing basketball why do you no longer okay. play maybe this is just a uh, regular japanese school culture uh, -huh. uh every single school has uh their own like, sport club after school uh-huh yeah yeah mm -hmm. so it's usual to start belong to the sum like like at least one sport or cultural club mm -hmm. it's not mandatory but um, almost a <laughs> student belong to because this is your first like mm, very like communication tool. Mm -hmm. So like just because after like graduation, I stopped to play. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, it's very similar. So uh, where where I went to school, we had a, a, a club after school with, with badminton uh, because my school had lots of badminton equipment. Mm -hmm. uh, so I. Kind of what everybody at school did mm. um so yeah kind of kind of similar but yeah and when i left the school obviously i just pretty much never have played ever, ever mm. again since then uh yeah all right <laughs> yeah. So we're, we're actually running out of time though so we only have about 15 seconds left yes okay um so yeah thank you very much for calling it was very nice yes, to meet yes. you, to you to were you. really like Good listener and uh, question like question <laughs> <laughs> no problem so feel yeah. yeah feel free to call back anytime yes sure. all right
See you soon. Bye. Bye.